Steve? You have to drive to <laughs> Steve, you said you were going to try to call in. And, and I have. I don't know how lucky you are, man. Because <laughs> Steve wrote on Twitter today, like, I'm going to try what? to call in. Aww. And he's the first one in. Wait. Did you also? Yeah, I just woke uh, up. Did Did you also post that you were going to call in on Facey B? On Facey B, yeah. Uh, actually, I, I didn't post on Facey B that I was going to call in, but oh. I should have been. In your accent, it's not as bad. It almost sounds like a, a kind of a British term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way it was said was, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll catch you on Facey B later, yeah? <laughs> oh, is that, is that what happens in gay Starbucks? Uh, that's that. Yeah, exactly. This is why I never went there again. Oh, pity. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, man? Good to talk to you. Just drool. Yeah, this is a bit bizarre. I literally just woke up. I set my alarm so that I could call in because uh, I'm actually not at work at the moment uh, until next Monday. So this is why this is possible. You got some time off for uh, New Year's? You, yeah, exactly. This is my New Year's resolution to call in. Oh, you did and it. I'm Dude. achieving it. By day two, you accomplished it. Yeah, so I might as well not do anything for the rest of the year now. Yeah, you get to relax now. Hey, kill yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a bit bizarre. Uh, it's nice to talk to you again after, what is it, like six months now uh -huh. that I met you? Yeah, we ran into you at PAX. Um, you Was that your first time going to the Penny Arcade Expo? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know. Uh, I never even thought I would end up going to PAX. It just kind of, that's kind of something that I planned very close to the time. Uh, so that was just a big bizarre experience. But yeah, nice, nice. I've never seen Dr Pepper look like that before. Yeah, our Dr Pepper has an <laughs> overweight Mexican woman on it. USA. Yeah, we don't have Mexicans here. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I was about to say <laughs> you want some of ours, but I didn't. Come on, uh, check it out. That's okay. <laughs> um, this is oh, I also wanted to I wanted to clear something up uh, that I saw. Thanks to Royce, I get to see some of these uh, poorly played streams. Because obviously, it's like uh, 3 a.m. now. Right. But uh, I got to see you playing Zombie U, and you mentioned something about... Uh, Someone saying something bad about the royal family and that it'd be like blasphemous. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you character. wonder if you were allowed to do stuff like that or you'd be like locked up. Uh, I can clarify, you can say stuff like that. Um, you know. Uh, but won't you get like rightly pissed? Uh, well, who gives a fuck, right? Yeah. So, oh, the queen will get right <laughs> naked, she will, she will. Oh, I ain't see the big old cunt is why I have fucking drapes don't match the fucking curtains, you know what I'm saying, son? That's a load, huh, isn't it? Fuck her. That's beautiful. So now Mexicans <laughs> and the entire UK hate yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, when I was at school, one of my, uh, when I was very young, I did a... A presentation on why I hate the royal family, and I wasn't sent to prison. Oh, so. that's good. Well, the, the Sex go. Pistols, the Sex Pistols, they, they, you know, they let everyone know how they felt about the Queen. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, you didn't go to jail, but you did go to the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can, Brian made popcorn. Can you show how small, like, open, open, it up open your hands like and just set it in your yeah. hand. This is like the tiniest bag <laughs> look of how, popcorn. Look how small the popcorn bag is. <laughs> <pretty big. laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's shit. weird. Oh, it's, it's that is right. charcoal. I love it. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, you know what that smell is? Burned popcorn? No, it's pepper. This is salt and pepper popcorn. Oh, my smells God. Like burnt pepper. It smells like burnt pepper. <laughs> it smells like charcoal popcorn. <clears throat> yeah, see, look. So, Garrett, yeah. um, are you glad that you're not a waste man? Burned yeah, I'm very glad that I'm not a waste man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I hope you use waste man in your everyday life now. Yeah, I've learned a lot of terms, you know, from like <laughs> talking to you uh, and talking to like a lot of different fans that are, you know, Jake and his brother Zach shouts over in uh, Zach. Australia. Shouts out. Where yeah, shout out to right? Jake. Got to meet him uh, about a month after I met you, which was quite weird. Yeah, you guys ended up. At, you guys were at. Uh, did you guys just meet up when he was in town, or did you go to a convention? Uh, we just met up. He just called me up, uh, which is weird because I'd been listening to the Gaming Court podcast like all that week. Oh wow! And then he phoned me up, so that was a bit bizarre. Yeah. Um, and then we just went, met up. We went to the meat market. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't even <laughs> want to ask what the meat market is, but I really do. At the meat market. So there you go. There you Can go. you explain what the meat market is? Oh, uh, it's just like this really uh, small but awesome burger place that we happened upon <laughs> when we walked by. It's actually not as entertaining as um, I made it sound. Well, the, name, uh, the name sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a... Well, obviously it was entertaining because we were there, but yeah, otherwise... You, got, you guys were the meat market. Uh-huh. There's there's a steak <laughs> restaurant down here called The Strip Club. Oh, yeah. And, like, I refuse to go to it because I always hear that name and I'm like, wait, why are you going to a strip club? <laughs> oh, no, that's it's a restaurant. And I'm like, oh, that's so dumb. Mm-hmm. I once had a reputation for being somebody who went to a strip club, even though I think I hadn't gone to a single one at that point. <laughs> yeah? yeah? You just look like a guy who would go no, to strip clubs? No, for some reason I had a bunch of ones in my pocket. And Eric said, oh, what are you doing, going to a strip club? You went to a strip club, and I went, no, I'm, nah, nah, I didn't. And then he went, yeah, you did. And then he just told everyone I went to a strip club. <laughs> Any time I saw rumors about him. Specifically Rocco, every time I saw him, and if I had more than five ones, he'd be like, I mean, you really do like going to a strip club, huh? <laughs> oh, thank you, Eric. Thank you. You got these peps? That was me, man. Sure. Oh, thank oh, shit. you. I mean, that was Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> we got that Dr. Pepper, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> we got Rosa. I wish I wish we had the Mexican Dr Pepper here. <laughs> we got Rosa Dominguez up Rosa on the like cover. Well, that's racist. <laughs> what? That's her name. No, it's, no, not it's here. certainly it's Yvonne, not. Her. It's Yvonne Padilla Rodriguez. She goes to the University of Nevada in Reno, and she is a pre-law student who wants to be a Supreme Court justice to make an impact in the Hispanic community. <laughs> There's already a Hispanic Supreme Court justice, the, and it's a woman. the The impact's been made. You're late. You are late to the party. How do you you're know? Try, you're trying to live someone else's dream. How do you know the nationalities of Supreme Court justices? It was a huge deal when it was when she was appointed. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Because I'm relatively informed. Nah. Fuck. <laughs> Waste of time. <laughs> I was like, all, all Eric is relatively informed because I can tell by his facey B posts, <laughs> which always <laughs> pain me. Hey, all I'm saying, I'm not surprised that a Mexican is late to something. Oh, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> You see the picture that I drew today? Guys, they're oh, jokes. Thank you. Well, hey, Steve, I'm glad you called in. This is what we do. We're a political yeah, show. Yeah, um, I should have you. a question. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, have you ever, um, have you ever, like, pretended to like something so to impress a girl? question. <laughs> well, I hear what you said. What? This is to all of you. Have you ever pretended to like something that you actually, like, really dislike to impress a girl? Uh, Boys. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but you know what? He's he's joking. But I've probably pretended to like something more for men than I have for women. And if a girl doesn't like something, I'll tell her that's stupid. That's misogynist, bro. It, well, hold you, on. You're trying to impress men. Hold on, maybe. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want them to think that they're better than me. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but I like when Steve says it. You're yeah. trying to impress men. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you should Garrett and download Grinder. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the straight on, man downloading Grinder. There's gonna be a grinder. whole lot of guys you can impress. No, you're gonna get on your <laughs> you're gonna get on your hands and knees to impress the yeah. guys. Yeah. Grinder, you don't gotta yeah. tell me. Let's head on down to the meat market. You read about the face you Never mind. Because <laughs> I I pretended I pretended I liked something once to impress someone. What? Um, to impress a guy, obviously. Um, <laughs> he he like he was he was really good looking and he liked Glee. Oh. Oh. Um, and he, he started talking about Glee and I went, oh yeah, I, I've always wanted to watch Glee and uh, I went a step further and we ended up doing that thing where you listen he was, wanted to show me a song from Glee oh. Oh, and we man. did that thing where you wear an earphone in one ear and the other guy wears an earphone in one ear and we're walking through a park listening to Glee oh man, hey, but you played that right where you just went, oh, I've always wanted to watch <coughs> that, I've done that I've done that a couple of times, how was oh, it was awful. I didn't even get laid. Oh, that's, oh, a, that's, that's wh- the worst. That was my next question. Was the end result worth it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I, it was like a walk of song. shame, but only I knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> you had to listen to Glee in probably the gayest way possible. Yeah. yeah. Which is two exactly. men sharing one pair of headphones. Yeah. That's, I mean, in the dictionary. Mm-hmm. In the dictionary. Yeah, that's in the Is there a term for that? Yeah. There, uh, there should be. Probably. I don't know. 
What? Well, Garrett said it was in under the di- in the dictionary as gay. So yeah, I think that's just <laughs> the term. It's just a picture of two men <laughs> sharing, with, sharing, sharing earbuds, earbuds on like a bus seat. Hey, do they <laughs> on like a trip in them anymore? <laughs> this was walking through a park. Oh, no, yeah, that's kind of romantic though. I'm surprised, man. Well, awful. I'm sorry you didn't seal the deal, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the things you do for love. That's true. <laughs> True. Uh, I really can't think of something that I pretended to be into. It's just movies or whatever. There was like shit yeah, I put up with, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I remember a story about Eric with a girl who really liked something that he did not like. What oh, God. It? Does he not want to? Garden it? State? <laughs> did you forget about Garden State? Yeah. All girls <laughs> with, like with Garden girl State. Lee? Oh! I totally forgot about that. You know what? Hey. Story. Oh, that was like years ago. Uh-huh. Like, every girl oh, likes Garden State? Yeah. I don't think it's that bad. I, I, never seen I know. I, I think it is that bad. Yeah, that, and he told he didn't pretend he liked it. He just told her how much he didn't like it. <laughs> there was stuff that I thought was funny. It, it's, really there was funny. stuff that I thought was funny, like their rich friend that shoots bows and arrows in the yard. The beginning is god-awful. It's hard to fucking get into that movie. But once it gets going, I don't mind it. I watched it. Hey, what about The Last Kiss? You should watch The Last Kiss. Was that, never... Is that the one with Zach Braff and Rachel Bilson? Yeah. No, I'm I've never seen that pitch, one. which is Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore. I've seen that movie like probably five <laughs> or six times. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's on TV, and I don't. Care. It's like oh, I, yeah. I'll watch this. It's all right. I love baseball movies. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You well, watch the, the, sl- the slogan for that movie is something like "You make your choices. What will yours be?" Something along those lines. It's like, well, not to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Tim Cup is a golf movie. Oh yeah. You're thinking of Bull Durham. Oh yeah, I am thinking of Bull Durham. Tell me. Well, how do you like this Cards Against Humanity game so far? Um, it's it's pretty much what I was expecting. <laughs> All right, <laughs> pretty much spot on now. All right, well, hey, we're gonna get we're gonna get playing. Thanks for calling. in. Okay, so yeah, thanks, sorry man. for distracting you. No, no, you, no, no. you it's good. You get started, and I'll probably go back to sleep since oh, yeah. it's like three <laughs> thirty. Nighty night. Yeah, nighty night. Bye, guys. Bye. See Good night. Facey B. Facey B. Whoa! What the fuck are you Whoa. doing? Whoa! I'm in space. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Whoa! Are we on a Hawkwind space adventure? Hawkwind. When, whenever that comes out in my car and it's like not nighttime, I go, I, I'm not ready to go to space. You're not ready <laughs> to go to space. All right, I'm going to turn around. Can do this? All right. 